swarm trap number two. So there's swarm trap number one, that tree there at the end of the path. I don't know if you can see the box hanging on it. Let's see, you see it? There it is. So I have caught swarms in that trap and this trap the same day. There's the swamp, we're getting a little bit closer to it. Good distance, uh, another tree we caught several swarms off of. So of course I am gonna put another trap on it this year. Um, one of these two traps will probably be the first tree traps we catch swarms in this year. So there's a little more information. Um, nice thing about using these same trees is you ain't got to put screws in the, in the tree. They're already there because <laughs> we knew we were coming back. So, you know, we try to hang them not terribly high. Um, he can hang that standing on the ground. Luke's just under six foot. Uh, entrance is aiming towards where the sun comes up. Just like you'd place your hive. Same with the other one. You're not all the way on that screw up top, Luke. You're just barely hanging. It'll pull it back up and we're going to put a ratchet strap around it, and this one will be set, ready to go.